Hello and welcome to the Self Empowered Podcast. I'm Abby Marie and I am passionate about helping women to discover self worth and self love so that they can live a life filled with happiness empowerment and feeling alive. Okay, so something I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to talk about the unconscious mind, self-worth and self-love, and most importantly, receiving. So, so many people don't realize that we are blocking what we are receiving. Okay, so for example, um, what happens is our unconscious mind or our limiting beliefs are kind of telling us that we're not worthy of something and we don't deserve it. And so what is happening then is that we're transmitting that up into the, you know, the quantum field into the universe to say that we're not worthy of something. And it's it's actually really cool what happens when we actually stop and take a rest or take a pause and open our heart up, open up our chest, open up our hands to receiving how the universe just so rapidly turns it back and you can just so quickly change your thoughts and your behaviors in a moment just from, you know, being in a life that you feel you're not worthy of to then living a life where you know you're worthy of it. You have a conviction. You're like, yeah, I am worthy of success. I am worthy of a loving relationship. I am worthy of money. You know, I am worthy of health. You you are changing this and you change it so quickly. And, you know, let, if we if we start from kind of some of the common mistakes for why women and and people and everyone everyone aren't getting the results they desire it's because they are using the wrong recipe okay so I'm all about following a system I'm all about following um, you know the steps and finding the secret source and and learning from people who have what you want okay so for so long like I mentioned uh, in the last episode is that We have been programmed by other people's thoughts and beliefs, okay? So those thoughts aren't actually ours. We've actually been programmed them. So, you know, we're growing up and and we're wanting to have this life of fulfillment and passion and confidence and abundance. But, you know, what we're doing is we're following a recipe and it's the wrong one. So the recipe that we're using is one that says, you know, zero cups of committed decision. We're adding zero cups of passionate beliefs. We're adding zero cups of focusing on our needs and zero cups of self-care you know it's just like when you're going to make a chocolate cake right so you wouldn't make a chocolate cake following the recipe or not following a recipe and instead of adding chocolate or instead of adding flour you add concrete instead so you know when you're not using the right recipe you know what type of chocolate cake you're going to make if you're not using chocolate and you're replacing it with with cement you're going to put it in the oven and it's going to come out and you're going to get a you know a concrete a concrete cake you know so if we're trying to create self-love and self-worth and and create a life of of feeling alive but we're not following the right ingredients then you know what's going to happen is you know, we're not going to get that life that we want. Without the right ingredients and the methods, we can't expect to achieve the kind of life we desire full of confidence, freedom, passion and purpose. And so many people don't realize this, you know. And, you know, very simply, if we were to just go through some of the three steps to gain self-worth and build that healthy relationship to yourself. So make sure you've got a pen, okay. So write this down. So step number one is to release your wounded beliefs. Okay, so this is the most important first step because most people don't realize that they're being held back by wounded self-worth beliefs and other people's kind of influences around them to believe it. Okay, so to believe that they're not worthy, that they're not smart enough, that life is always meant to be hard. You know, this prevents us from noticing opportunities and maybe even stopping us from even trying at all like hands up I'll be my fir- the first person to put my hands up to say that you know I've stopped myself so many times 
from taking action, from taking that step forward because I had that wounded belief of life is always going to be hard, like it's hard or I'm not worthy enough or I'm going to fail, what's the point? Like let me know if you felt them as well and that has prevented me from moving forward or even just like I'll I'll take the first step but then the, the whisper comes in and says, oh, you're not helping anyone or you're not good enough and I'm like, all right, well, let's just finish this, let's just stop this, you know, I'm, I don't want to do this anymore and it's like, no, no, I'm being held back, you know. Uh, step number two is focusing on your needs first. You don't end up helping anyone if you fall apart, okay? Like, let me know as well. Like, I'm just going to use it from a mum example. You know, I've so often I've been like, oh, because I'm a mum, I... You know, I don't have time to to rest or, um, you know, I shouldn't I shouldn't be spending money on myself. I should be spending it on my kids. Like, how dare I take an hour to go and get a massage or, you know, how dare I spend fifty five dollars or whatever it is to just go and get get my hair washed and blow dried like I could do that at home. Like, how dare I, you know, how dare I take time to to have a bath even, you know, like, oh, because what happens is, you know, we don't end up helping anyone if we fall apart, okay? So if we're not putting our needs first, we're going to end up falling apart. Learning your own limitations and setting up your boundaries and disciplines to ensure you sustain your energy is not selfish, okay? It's not selfish. It's ensuring that you don't burden others unnecessarily by going past your limit, You are the most important asset of your life. Okay, repeat after me. I am the most important asset of my life. Yes, because without you, then what happens? You know, then what happens? You know, you're so important. Then step number three is change the disempowering language you are currently using. Okay, so like I mentioned before, that that whisper, that our ego, the 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 unconscious mind kind of telling us with those limiting beliefs that we can't do something, okay? What we need to do is you need to change that disempowering language. Most people don't, do not know that their language they use to describe their personal situation will either amplify or decrease how they're feeling. You know, so consciously use the power of your words and language to transform your life and reprogram your identity. Like, let me know, when you're when you're say feeling crappy and all you're thinking about like say if your body is feeling sore or you're feeling tired or you're feeling run down or you know life is just a little bit hard and all you're doing is you're just focusing on how negative it is, how hard life is, you know. How do you feel? How does your body feel? You know, it feels pretty crappy, right? But when you're when you're feeling super amped up and full of energy and 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 feeling unconditional love, you know, how does life feel? When you're whispering to yourself like I've got this, I'm amazing, you know, your whole body feels amazing and your life completely changes. It it honestly does and it's what I really love about it is that and I'm going to go into more about it tonight is that you know when we're whatever we're using the language that we're using is transmitting into the quantum field okay it's science it's transmitting out there so whatever we're putting out we're receiving okay so whatever you put out you receive so when you change your language and putting out to the positive you will receive the positive things in your life Okay, so healing self-love and overcoming feelings of being undeserving of love and receiving so often, you know, where where givers give, give our time, give our money, give our energy, give, 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 give. But when it comes to receiving, when it comes to us, you know, receiving that self-care, receiving pleasure, receiving money, whatever it is, we're kind of like putting our hands up and saying, no, 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 I'm not okay with this. Now, repeat after me the way you do one thing is how you do everything so if you're going to put your hands up and say no I'm not going to receive love then you know you're going to put your hands up and say I'm not going to receive money and and you're you know putting your hands up and saying I'm not receiving happiness or I'm not receiving a loving relationship or I'm not receiving a healthy body that's what we're doing so wherever we're putting our hands up and stopping the receiving we're stopping it in all aspects of our life it is so important to release that wounded self-worth beliefs okay those ones that tell you you are not good enough as these shape everything that you're that you do okay so when you're 
putting your hand up and saying, I'm not deserving of this money or I'm not deserving of this love. You know, you it's shaping everything. When you release your limiting beliefs at its core, you can live your life according to your own expectations and beliefs instead of other people's, okay? Our thoughts are not our own. Our thoughts are someone else, you know. I'm, I'm pretty sure if we were all in a room right now and I said, raise your hand if you feel unworthy, Almost everyone would raise their hand. Now, what we're doing is we're sitting there and we're holding on to that thought and saying, well, no, that's my thought. Um, you know, this is mine, my belief. This is my thought. And it's like, hang on a minute. You and everyone else has had that thought. And that thought's been programmed to you by your parents or whoever your your grandparents or whoever you were around when you were younger, which, you know, is that generational chain because that was programmed from from their parents and and brought down from the people above them and above them you know and it's like they're not your thoughts stop stealing other people's thoughts okay (laughs) so without being consciously aware of it um we are programmed around this disempowering language and on an unconscious level our whole life so for so long we've just had those whispers telling us this low self-worth and low self-love beliefs you know so something that I want to recommend that you're doing and and let's do it now okay we want the first thing that you want to do is you want to be open to love okay because can pure unconditional love hurt anyone no if you're just coming from unconditional love nothing if you're giving unconditional love all that comes back is unconditional love okay so to be open to receiving now it's going to feel uncomfortable if you haven't if you're not used to receiving it's going to feel uncomfortable but we can't grow if we don't feel uncomfortable okay so what I want you to do is I want you to sit up tall sit up tall like a queen okay so and taking a breath Good. Taking a nice deep breath in and filling your stomach, filling up your belly and taking another breath out. Good. Now I want you to open your hands up, open your arms up with your palms facing out. Okay. As if you're going to give someone a nice big hug. But what we're doing now is that we're opening up our arms. We're opening up our chest. We're tilting our chin up. We've got our chest and our heart space open to the universe, open to the heavens, open open in front of us with our arms out. We're taking a nice deep breath in. Good. And out. And as you're doing this, I want you to notice how good it feels, okay? Like I mentioned, it may feel uncomfortable, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus on how good it feels, okay? So often we've, we've programmed to... Uh, noticing and feeling how uncomfortable things feel or telling ourselves that it's hard but that's not what we're doing right now okay so we're opening up noticing how good it feels and allowing all those feelings of relaxation to come down into the rest of the body so as you're breathing each breath that you're taking take a breath in and out good your body is getting even more and more relaxed with each breath you take in and out Perfect. Relaxing the neck, the shoulders, the chest, the stomach. Good. Relaxing the arms and the legs and letting go of all the tension and all the stress. And just imagine as all your troubles and stress melt away and disappear, leaving you feeling completely relaxed and completely wonderful. That's right. I wonder if you know how to feel completely and deeply relax throughout your whole body, taking another deep breath in and out. Good. So what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be opening up to energy, okay? But we're more importantly, we're going to be opening up to unconditional love, and we're going to be opening up to giving and receiving. So as you're sitting there, sitting up tall like a queen, with your hands open, And just giving your love. I want you to focus on one person. Who is someone that you have unconditional love for? I want you to bring up their face. See their face. Hear their voice. Feel their love. And I want you to send them unconditional love. Feeling the love coming through your hands. My hands are tingling with some warmth. What are you feeling? Feeling that energy coming out of the palms of your hand. 
feeling it coming out of your chest, out of your heart space, giving that unconditional love out into the universe. And as you're doing this and as you're listening, because while you're listening, there are so many other people that are doing this with you. And as a collective, we are sharing our energy, but we need to receive that because if we can't receive the unconditional love and the energy, then we are blocking it and we don't want to block our love, do we? Because if we block from receiving, then we're blocking from actually giving it to someone else. Let this sense, let this sense of unconditional love move through your heart, moving through your body. That's right. Mm, taking a nice deep breath in and out. That's right. Notice the sensations in your hands, and in your chest, as you are sharing unconditional love out into the out into the world, out into the people that you love, out into the ones that need it. Good. And when you're ready, taking one last deep breath in and out. And I want you to wrap your arms around you and just giving yourself the biggest hug you have ever received. Mm, just wrapping your arms around and just giving yourself so much unconditional love. That's right. Because you are worthy of it. Now what you're going to do is I want you coming back to the now, but changing your language, okay? Changing your language to something positive, empowering. You know, I am amazing. I am a queen at receiving. I can do this. Repeat that energy. Hug yourself tight. Tell yourself how worthy you are. Bringing in that energy. Because when we aren't open, we're going into that survival mode, okay? We don't want to go into that survival mode, do we? That survival mode where we're coming from scarcity or lacking or anxiety or low self-worth or fear. No, we're coming from love because love is everything. Love is energy and energy is everything, okay? Repeat after me. Love is energy and energy is everything and I am love. Unconditional love. Yes, you are. So your thoughts and your feelings, so they're energy waves and they're so powerful that what we actually create, like what we think in our mind and what we feel in our body, we can create into the reality. All right. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. So, you know, when you go within, you don't go without. So what happens is when we're in survival mode, we're in that scarcity that, oh, I can't have this. And oh, what if I can't do better? And oh, I can't spend money because what if I never have any again? Like you're coming from that scarcity of, of that lack, okay? But what you need to do is you need to become greater than your circumstances. You need to hold that vision of what your life can be independent of your environment, okay? Your thoughts and your visuals are your focused energy manifesting a new possible reality into the quantum field. It's science. I can't make this up. It's science. Feelings act as a magnetic charge that draws that possible reality into your timeline, into your life now. The quantum field doesn't respond to only thoughts or only feelings. It responds when your thoughts and feelings are coherent and aligned together. So if we want to receive love and if we want to receive money, if we want to receive success, happiness, abundance, freedom, then we need to open up and feel unconditional love, feel and, and change the language of I am worthy of money. I am worthy of success. I am worthy of abundance of time. I am worthy to be in a loving relationship. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. Okay. And it's not, oh, when I, when I do this, then I'm worthy. Like, no, I am worthy now. Repeat after me. I am worthy now. I am worthy now. Yes. Because what happens is when we go into our survival mode, that's when we go into self-doubt and self-doubt's coping mechanism coping mechanism is to shut down 
disconnect and separate from when it feels too much or too hard or too confusing. And what that does is that creates no energy. We don't want to create no energy. Everything is made of energy. And love is one of the highest vibrating energies that you can have. Okay, so we want to be up there in love. Now, when we're not feeling love, when we're feeling anxiety and and depression and, and fear and scarcity and we're in their survival mode, we become matter. We don't have that energy inside of us. So what happens is that when we are feeling that no energy, when things feel too hard, too confusing, too much, and we're what we're doing is we block it because we don't like to feel it. Let me know if you've blocked that when you've had a fe- a, a thought or a feeling that feels a little bit uncomfortable or too hard, right? You've blocked it. Now, by blocking it, what you can be doing is like blocking it and then emotionally like, you know, just eating, just binge eating or going on Netflix and just binge watching Netflix or, you know, going into some kind of other addiction where you're not being in the present moment now. You know, you're being stuck in the, the fear of the past, which is the depression or the fear of the future, which is the anxiety. But what you're not doing is you're not doing the now. You're not connecting with the breath. You're not opening up your hands to love, unconditional love. You're not sharing it with your sisters and the world and everyone who needs it. You're blocking it, okay? So when we're blocking, it's too hard, it's too much, it's too confusing. We're also blocking love. You know, so then we're sitting there and thinking, why aren't I receiving? Well, it's because you're blocking it, babe. You're absolutely blocking it. Repeat after me, love is energy and energy is everything, okay? So what you need to do to override this is you need to have that intense, um, you know, that intense reason why. Why do you want to override it? Why do you want to override that shutdown energy? Why do you want to be alive? Why do you want to be filled with passion? Why do you need to override these learned programs and the body's addiction to shutting down? Let me know. Why do you need to do it? You know, your most dominant thoughts and feelings. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to imagine that if you are a walking antenna broadcasting out to the quantum field, Okay, an energetic signature representing your dominant thoughts and your dominant feelings. Okay, so so you're you're putting these out into the universe, putting them out to the quantum field, both consciously and unconsciously. And whatever that represents is drawn back to your reality. Now I'm pretty sure that if you had little thought bubbles coming up everywhere you're walking, that was sharing every single negative and low energy thought that you were having you would very very quickly change them into more positives when people can see those thoughts or maybe when you become aware of those thoughts it's kind of like hang on a minute I can't really go and and disconnect and and put a wall up because I feel like it's too hard because I literally am seeing the words right in front of my face so you need to open to love and and stop blocking it okay so when you have the right focus it will change the feeling So you need to focus on the right thing because what we focus on, um, what is the saying? Energy goes where your, oh, energy flows where focus goes. Okay. So if you're going to focus on negative things in life, then that's where the energy is going to go. All right. That's what the quantum field is going to give back to you. But if we're safe, we're focusing on money. If you've got like a money block, instead of focusing on like, I don't have money. I need to pay for bills. Like this is one, um, you know, for so if you're say if you are starting business and you have all these you know website bill or a business name bill or subscription bills or whatever it is or just even you know having a home and you have bills to pay like electricity bill and water bill and you know food bill and all of that you know instead of focusing on like oh I need to pay these bills you know focus and change the thought like be grateful for having that bill because when you have that bill that means that you you've been provided a service okay or you can provide a service. I know that by having a bill for a website means that I've been able to provide a service which is sharing my website and sharing my content. Okay, so um, you know, just like for example, like this podcast, I have a monthly subscription to be able to you know share my podcast, and I am totally one hundred percent happy with that because you know energy money loves energy okay and it loves to move fast so I'm not I don't sit there and go oh I can't believe I have to pay a monthly subscription I'm like no I get to pay this because I get to share what what I learn and and I get to speak my passion and I get to speak my why and I get to help so many other people overcome low self-worth and low self-love so I am happy to pay this bill because I get to do it you know and with the house like oh I've got to pay for water yeah how good is that you know you got to have fresh running water in your house you know there's so many countries that don't have that 
They don't have that privilege to be able to pay for fresh water or to pay for electricity. Like, wow, how amazing is that that we get to do this? Same with time. If you you know, focus on time, I don't have time, I don't have time. I used to do that very often, you know. I don't have time. I haven't got any time. I was real scarcity of time, you know. And, and what you need to do is like, okay, well, maybe I don't have time to just binge watch Netflix because I'm actually living my purpose. I'm living my dream. I don't want to shut down and watch Netflix and, and not that, you know, watching Netflix is bad, not at all, but it's when you're doing it in that dysfunctional way, when you're doing it to block what you don't want to feel, okay? Same with relationships. You know, you could sitting there and saying like, oh, I want a relationship. Well, you know, instead of being like, oh, I'm always single, I hate this, or I'll never find a man, or I'll never find a woman, or I'll never find my life partner, you know, instead of being so negative about it, saying like, oh, never focusing on the lack, I want you to focus on on the abundance of it, you know, I'm going to be in a loving relationship, it's just going to take time, or I'm ready now, you know, live in that future moment now, and feel it, okay, now, this is, it's just, Oh, it's just so cool and and so often we hold ourselves back, but it is so simple to just change. I want to ask you, if you were taking your last breath, how are you going to feel right now? If in five minutes you took your last breath, are you going to feel like you lived your life living your full potential? Or are you going to have regret? Because you are the co-creator of everything in your life and it's your Ability to respond, okay? So your responsibility, that determines the result that you manifest into your reality. Your thoughts and your feelings are so powerful that they can actually create your reality. Like, for example, um, you know, on the weekend it was my birthday and months before I I really wanted to go away. Like all I wanted to do was to, um, you know, go into the bush, go into the forest. And, and months before my birthday, I was kind of having a look at it, some accommodation. and Everything was booked up, you know, two hour radius was all booked up. And so I kind of just like forgot about that idea. And then it come to like an hour before I was about to leave my house. And I thought, no, 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 I'm going to, let me just see what I can find. And, and I was talking to my mum about it. And my mum has real, real strong manifesting powers as well. She's very connected with the quantum field. And I was like, all right, let me have a look. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, while she's manifesting her powers, I'm going to manifest my powers. I'm going to feel it. I'm going to think it, going to drop in, going to open up to receiving, be like, yes, let's find it. Let's, let's, you know, make this, this reality, this dream into reality. And I did. I found a place. I found it on Airbnb. And um, so I booked it and I was like, yes, woo, we did it. And then I ended up getting home. Well, it was before I left, but then I checked my emails and I was like, oh no, I booked it for the wrong day. Like I booked it for the next day. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I'm trying to call them and they're not answering. And I was like, oh no, like, oh no, you know, starting to kind of get a little bit into survival mode. Like, what am I going to do? And then it was that moment that I just stopped. And I come into the now and I took a breath, <sighs> sat out like a queen and I opened my hands to receiving and I opened up to trusting that the universe has my back and I just felt that whatever happens is going to work out and within minutes, not even minutes, within seconds of stopping and opening up to receiving, I got a phone call. I got a phone call from the place, from the Airbnb place. And she was like, oh, Abby, we um we don't take last minute bookings like this. And I don't have the room available that you've you've asked for. And I was like, oh, yeah, no worries. That's fine. And she's like, but I do have a, um, a room with bunk beds. And I was like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just book it. And it was so cool. So, you know, we got to go to the forest. Like it was one, me and one of my girlfriends. We got to go to the forest, um, you know, and just got to hang out. Now, the the kind of a lesson that I can um, kind of tweak that a little bit <laughs> is to be a little bit more specific. OK, so um, pretty much all I said was I just want a roof over my head so that we could stay so we could stay there. And yeah, we got a roof over our head. But I think it was a a little bit haunted or something like that. I don't know. Um, It was a very, very small room as well. Like it literally could only fit the bed. But still, it doesn't matter, you know, because I opened up to receiving and I received, which was so, so amazing. Okay, so what I want you to do this week um, is I want you to stop focusing on the external things. Okay, stop trying to focus on someone else to give it to you. Stop trying to focus on things like, oh, I have to earn love and look for the thing under the thing. You know, stop coming from 
that desperate energy okay so when we have low self-love and low self-worth and we go into the survival mode we're coming from that desperate energy okay like i need something to fix me i need an external source to fix me i need something else to make this happen but what i want you to do and this is your fun work i want you to connect to your higher power to infinite intelligence okay because we don't have to do this alone we don't have to beg to be loved the universe doesn't have an ego okay it's always open and perfect in every single way so what i want you to do is i want you to get a little bit uncomfortable but i want you to get comfortable with being uncomfortable so that then you can open up to receiving and then you can live the life that you were born to live okay there is no um conditions when it comes to opening up to the universe it's absolutely free it's unlimited so that's what i want you to do now just keeping in that mind being perfect is gross remember how i said before you know i don't want you to you know beat yourself up if you're not doing it 10 out of 10 perfect okay because that just leads to overwhelm and burnout let's just focus for 8 out of 10 it's better than a 0 out of 10 because you know when we're when we're perfect there's no room for growing and when we're not growing we're dying all right so if you're not growing you're dying that's that's the my biggest philosophy that i stand by okay because every thought we think carries energy emotion and frequency what is going on you know when when you are reacting to stress what are the thoughts the whispers that are coming into your mind what are you putting out into the universe that you know you're kind of saying very be be very very aware of the thoughts that you are thinking okay and this is what i want you to do opening up to love so sitting back relaxing sitting up like a queen taking a nice deep breath in and out good and i want you to open up to receiving and giving love and while you're doing that as well you know picturing the person in your mind seeing their face hearing their voice who are you giving love to and just giving them them love and then receiving that love back and sitting there and feeling it and i'd love if you could share with me reach out to me on facebook abby marie 2020 or um you know follow me on instagram or reach out on uh you know my website or comment below you know share some feedback but i want to know you know how do you know that you are receiving how do you know what do you feel in your body when you are like yes this is where i'm at like for me some of the signs that i'll get some of the messages that i'll receive is i'll have goosebumps okay so like my body i'm like oh yeah that's truth this is what's happening so i'll get full body goosebumps or i feel it in my heart like i feel in my chest this warm energy vibrating through my chest and through my shoulders i also feel it in my hands like my hands will get like a little bit sweaty like ew but no like i'm like yes this is love love sweat <laughs> um you know so what else like do you see numbers i see 111 and um 333 as well i love the number three so yeah let me know share what it is that you see let's open up to receiving love let's open up to giving that eps and flow okay energy loves to move money loves to move let's just opening up to receiving thank you all so much for listening tonight and i look forward to chatting to you next time bye